Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the street artist Dane. And I have already um, opened up a new project um, for me to work on. And I have also Google searched for torn bill posters and found this image, which I'm going to use part of right now. So I'm going to select that bit, control C, control V. And don't worry if it seems a little small, this is just going to be the background to our image. So I'm just going to resize it so it fits the whole of the background. And then I'm going to go to an already loaded image of myself where I've already removed the background. Um, again, selecting the whole thing, pressing Control C, going to our project, Control V, and I'm just going to move it to the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go to an image of a pink rose that I've preloaded and remove the background on. And again, Control C, Control V. And I'm just going to resize that too, make it a little bit bigger, and place it near the top of my head. A bit bigger. Okay, right. And now I'm going to um, duplicate that layer. So I've got another one, and move it down to the bottom here by my shoulder. And then going to go to another pink rose photo that I found and remove the background on and again control c control v and same as i did with the other rows i'm going to resize it and move it just next to the original rows again duplicate layer and put another one down the bottom down there like that okay Okay, now I want to merge those layers together, so I'm going to press shift and select myself and all the roses and right click and click on merge layers. And that's going to turn the roses and myself into one layer. So I can now go to image adjustments black and white, click OK, and that's turned myself and the roses black and white. Okay, uh, now I'm going to magic wand around myself and the roses. In fact, if I take off that layer, you'll be able to see. Okay. And then I'm going to select inverse so that it basically selects me. Don't worry if there are some rough edges, they all add to the aesthetic. And move that layer below my photo layer. And I'm going to fill it um, using the brush tool while the mask is still there and make sure your brush is nice and big and then we're going to just paint areas of that mask i'll take the photo off so you can see what i'm doing so it's a little bit of pink there maybe go for some red next click ok then paint some of the other areas in red and then choose another color, blue I think. Click OK. Paint some more areas blue. And then maybe some orange in there. And then lastly a little bit of light pink I think where the roses are. So grab that pink again, lighten it up, click OK. And then just a couple of areas light pink. And then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to crank that right up and really get that, those colours blurred together. And maybe not that much. Somewhere a little bit less. Something like that. Click OK. And then we're going to go to the Photo layer and use the drop-down menu above just to scroll through until we find the one that works best at showing 
the photo with some color behind. Okay. And at this point, I think it's a little bit oversaturated. So I'm going to go on the color layer to image adjustments, hue saturation, and just bring up the lightness, the brightness, um, so that it makes it a little bit more washed out and the color a bit more subtle. And then when you bring back the background, it's beginning to work together now. Okay, next up, we need to start adding some different layers, make our image a little bit more interesting. And I found this torn paper image and this image of Le Monde on Google. And I'm just going to take the bit of Le Monde that I want, Control C, Control V into the same image. It's gone behind now, it's just lifted up to the top. And then I'm going to resize Le Monde to the whole area and I'm going to go to the drop down menu above the layer and just work through until I get a good combination of the images where you can see the text on the um, the torn paper and once I get to the layer that I like I'm just going to flatten that image so both layers go together and then I'm going to the magic wand and I'm just going to select and delete the black areas so I'm left with just the writing on the torn paper don't worry if some of the letters disappear too it all adds to the layered effect and then control V into that image and I'm going to pop it down in the bottom right hand corner so I'm just going to resize it and then drop it down and the same as the other layers I'm then going to go to the drop down menu and find a setting that I feel is appropriate for showing all the imagery together with that kind of lettering, that torn paper look on the top. Okay, right, now I'm going to try and replicate the um, spray painted circle around the um, eye in the portrait in um, Dane's work. And to do this, I'm just drawing a shape and then I'm going to rasterize that. Oh, just to say that my shape would have an empty fill and is in red with an appropriately thick amount of pixels. I'm then going to take that layer, right click and duplicate it. And that's going to then be resized to make it look like I've sprayed round the eye twice and I'm then going to merge those two layers together right click merge layers having selected them both and that's going to allow me then to filter blur Gaussian blur them together and I'm using a little bit of blur to make it look a bit more like a spray painted circle so it hasn't got defined edges click OK and we need to make that look properly like a spray painted circle so I'm just gonna squish that so it's not a perfect circle and I'm gonna go to this picture of some drips that I found on Google and just make sure I grab as much as I need I can always remove stuff okay control C Control V, and if I zoom in, you'll be able to see what I'm doing more clearly. And I'm going to resize those drips so they fit to look like they are dripping down from the red circles. Okay, and I'm just going to delete the um, background with a magic wand. And then I'm selecting the drips themselves with the magic wand 
in order to turn them into a different colour by pressing delete to empty the mask then going to red same colour as the spray paint and then going to the paint bucket tool and filling that area with red okay this is where I'm going to get the um, eraser and just cut down the edges of the drips there so they look more like they're coming from the circles and then erase down to the kind of circles as well with that there we go okay and then I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur the drips too a little bit so that they feel like they're coming straight from the circles and click OK and if I zoom out show you the whole thing this is where we're at at the moment and this ends part one of this tutorial